What's going on YouTube? Subboom Saint aka SOS because I'm about to save you from smoking. Wow, that was a horrible intro. Scratch that. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to bring y'all a little a video on the Snow Wolf 200 watt mod by Asmodus. But first off, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm trying to get everything situated to upload every Tuesday and every Saturday. So hopefully I can get these videos going for you guys and keep these reviews coming. I do have a few new things that I need to review, but kind of wanted to get the other, older stuff out of the way so I can keep on building up on it. So without further ado, let's dive down. Take a closer look at the snow wolf, alright? Alright, here we are up close. The packaging that the Snow Wolf 200 watt comes in. I love the reflective wolf. It gives you all the features of it, the weight of it, the input voltage, output voltage, output power, temperature range, and the atomizer resistance range. Ooh, about dropped it. Let's open it up. You get your Asmodus distribution warranty card for 30 days. You get your very detailed instruction manual or user manual, however you want to say it. And here it is in all of her iPhone-ish glory. battery venting down there spring load at 510 houses two 18650 batteries very very clean doors held on by these two magnets well there's actually two magnets on this one side corner right here only one magnet on this side magnetic door have not had any problems with the battery door so it's not gonna come off anyways let me pop some 18650 batteries in here and get you guys a little more acquainted all right here we are got the batteries in it one click to turn it on then five clicks to unlock it says check atomizer of course because I don't have an atomizer it has your ohms your voltage your temperature and your wattage and your battery life right over here it's real simple to switch between temperature control mode and wattage mode all you do is push the two uh, up and down buttons right now it's blinking and temperature let me bring her in there a little closer so that's how you adjust your temperature then for your wattage then you click back and then you just press the fire button when you're all set to go all right y'all I feel perfectly comfortable with backing out vaping on this thing and telling you guys a little more about it All right, that's my up close and personal with it. Um, the only thing I didn't show in the close up is when you take the atomizer off. Let me go ahead and pop that off now. Pop another, pop it right back on. It will ask you is it a new atomizer if it is you say yes if not it's no which is down I do apologize I did not show that in a close-ups but anyways 
my personal opinion with this mod, it's it's been a good mod to me. I mean, I haven't had no problem. I've used temperature control tanks on it. Haven't had no problems with fire, it firing. Um, wattage mode is good. It's been my go-to mod since pretty much since I've gotten it. Now, does it have its flaws? Yes, but all the all my my flaws about it are subjective. What bothers me might not bother you guys. First off, let me go ahead and give you one of my cons, and I don't like the glass. I mean, I know it it looks good and all that stuff, but I'm 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 a clumsy dude, so I'm more than likely gonna drop the dang thing and shatter it. I I do know that it has silicone sleeves for them. I will put a link in the description on where you can get a, a Snow Wolf 200 watt and where you can get a silicone sleeve for it if you decide to buy this product. Um. Other than that, the only other problem I could say I have is I wish they would, I mean this is nitpicky stuff, but I wish they would put the, um, see the plus and the thing, I wish they would dropped that a little lower, so, you know, because whenever I'm firing it, I'm scared I'm going to turn up the wattage or something, but that's just picky things. Other than that, I, I mean I really haven't had no problems with it at all. Um, it's been a great mod, I mean, I'm, I would definitely recommend it, so, I mean, if you guys are looking on getting this one, I'd say go ahead. I mean, you can you can vape it at 70 watts in temperature control mode, so that's a good thing. It's a lot better than what everybody else uses, like 50 joules. So, but if you're not into temperature control, I mean, this 200 watts has got all the wattage that you you possibly need. I mean, not very many people vape over 200 watts. I know I don't because it's too warm of a vape for me. So. But anyways, it is good to know. It's, I mean, it's just like having a sports car. You know, you you got all that horsepower, and you can't use it. It's just nice to know you got it. You know what I mean? So that's my vision on the Snow Wolf 200 Watt. I really hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like, a subscribe. Let me know what you think I can do better. And if there's any more information, please comment below, and I will. Be sure to answer anybody's questions. Thank you so much, you guys, and y'all come back, you hear?